Okay, so I'm going to be showing you how to set up Cobra Control Panel on your computer. Uh, I'm not sure if this uh, applies to Mac computers as well. I've never used a Mac, um, but uh, this is how uh, you set it up on Windows 7. Uh, same thing would go for Windows Vista. Um, it has to be in Vista or higher uh, for Jenny Motion to run. And I am fairly certain that Windows 8 should be about the same, but if, uh, if you have Windows 8, I can you have any issues, I can try and assist you, but I don't use Windows 8 um, <clears throat> because I hate it. So, uh, anyways, um, so first off, you'd have to download Jenny Motion. Um, to do that, you would just go to their website right here, uh, JennyMotion.com, and download, download for Windows, Mac, or Linux whatever you know works for you um, and then you would just click on get Jenny motion make sure you click on get Jenny motion and not get Jenny motion without VirtualBox because you do need VirtualBox um, so we just click get Jenny motion uh, you do have to register um, but it is free um, they don't send you a bunch of junk so it is something you have to sign up for um, but it is free to sign up so once you do that um, you get the download file you install it and you then have Jenny Motion. So you open up Jenny Motion, and right here you see you have already have the device. But I'm going to make a new device just to show you guys how to do it. Um, so you go to Add, and here you can choose from what type of virtual device you want. Um, I do recommend Google Nexus 10 5.0. It gives you the highest resolution, and since you are on a computer, you do want the highest resolution. So you can narrow that down. Uh, Google Galaxy Nexus. Or I'm sorry, Google Nexus 10, right there. 5.0 API 21. Just highlight that. Next. This just gives you all the information of what it's creating. Go ahead. You can name it if you want, but I just leave it here where you can just name it. Next. It's now going to retrieve the files it needs to start that device been created successfully and hit finish so right here you have the device so if you would hit start that's going to start that device <laughs> and this is just going to be some uh, bare bones um, platform basically um, so you'll see it really has nothing installed. It doesn't even have Google Play services. Um, so you will need to install those, and I will show you how to do that. I should provide links to the files um, below. So right here's your tablet. Um, or that you touch is your mouse, basically. So right here is your tablet screen. Uh, if you want, um, you can play around with the settings, but there's really no need to. Um, this is an emulation, so there are certain things that you cannot do. Obviously, you can't double touch things like that. There's no multi-touch um, unless you have a touchscreen computer. Um, so there's that. Um, but basically, you now what you have to do is you have to get uh, Google Play services because you can't download Cobra without the Google Play services. So to do that, you have to um, download a couple files, which I have already done. Uh, let me see here, and I'll provide the, the links to you for those. Um, let me see. Uh, okay, so right here are the files. Um, <clears throat> Actually, no, I'm going to show you where to uh, get the files. Okay, so these are the files that you need. Um, there's two files. <clears throat> you do have to apply them in a certain order. So what you're going to do is, once you download these two files, which I'll have links below, you're just going to click and drag. So you do the first one first, the translation. You just click and drag it into your tablet. Then you get this message. You hit OK. Then flash successfully, you can restart the virtual device. Or you can just close out of it, it shuts it down. <clears throat> there may be a better way of doing that, but that's what I've always done. 
Um, and then you reopen it. And we're going to do the same thing with the second file. This is actually the uh, Google Play services, basically, uh, in a nutshell. So now I just go ahead and click and drag that one over. This is specific to, uh, to Android 5.0, so make sure that you don't click on a different one and try and use this file. If you do need a different um, Google Play services for a different version, 4.4, for instance, uh, 4.4 version of Android um, th that is available um, if you you can find it in a quick Google search or if you just need me to get it I can uh, find it for you but um, click and copy this over it's going to transfer it over Okay, again. Flash successfully. Please restart. So you go ahead and restart it again. That's going to be updating. Um, it did install some new apps basically, but it's just the Google Play services. Now when you turn this on, you're going to start getting a lot of errors. It's going to say a lot of things crashed um, and so forth. So what you need to do is uh, just try and work your way through the uh, through the errors to uh, get into Google Play and uh, update um, the Google Play. So I'm going to go ahead and do that now once this comes up. If I say Google Maps has stopped working or Google um, Play service stopped working. Um, a couple other Google Hangouts might pop up. So go ahead and unlock your tablet. Unfortunately, Maps says stop. Reinstall Google Plus. So, what we're going to do is eventually you'll get here. I'm going to go ahead and type in my email. Okay, so I had paused it just because I didn't want to. Well, did you see my password? Um, so once you uh, sign in, you just hit accept. So here you're at the Play Store. Um, I don't select the backup. Um, just because this is a virtual device, I don't want everything backed up to my virtual device. So you just hit next. And then you click update on Google Plus or whatever. You just want to update all the Google services. So if you get this error, um, just go back. And first thing you actually want to update is um, Google Hangouts. Because it will then prompt Google services to update. Um, actually, it's jumping me around. Update, I clicked open. So, update. Google Hangouts is now going to update. It's going to give you that prompt because Google services aren't all up to date. So, let's go to update all. Accept. So it's still going to be doing its updating. You're still going to be getting these errors until it's updated.
is a troublemaker installing right now. So there's that. So now it's just updating the rest of these. Um, basically, it'll prompt for uh, Google Play services to be updated. So if you swipe down from the top or just grab it at the top, um, Hangouts requires an update to Google Play services. Let's go here. And you have to update. So you click update, accept. So we don't actually need Hangouts to, uh, to open up on us. Let's go ahead and go back full screen. So now, uh, actually, these are I'm just going to show you. These are the controls at the bottom. I don't know if you can see my mouse or not. Um, but this is Home. This is to see uh, what's open. And this is your back button. Kind of changed in 5, so if you're not used to it, that's why. Um, some of you don't have Android or you just aren't used to it, so I just wanted to point that out. So then we're just going to go ahead and clear these out. Chances are they've already been updated. And you just need to clear them. Which it does by clicking on them because it realizes it's already done. And it tells you you have 12 applications updated, so you can just swipe that over. So now what we want to do is we want to install the <coughs> Cobra Control Panel. So you go to the Apps. Play Store. You can either click on it or drag it to the the, to the the main screen. So I'm just gonna drag it to the main screen and open it. Then you search for Control Panel. And you're gonna install it. Then you can open it. Now at this point, if you were to plug in your um, 18R2 um, into your computer, it would not recognize in this. So what we have to do is we have to make this VirtualBox recognize that there is uh, a USB driver or a USB device that goes to the emulator. So what we do is we actually want to close out of this, and now we're going to open up Oracle. So you just type in the search bar Oracle or if you're looking for your Oracle VM virtual box and you're going to open that up and so right here um, basically Jenny Motion runs through the Oracle virtual box um, program so what you're going to do is you're going to click on your you know find your device usually let's have one here but I've been playing with it a bit um, so you're going to actually look for the uh, one you have here which is right here Cobra Control Panel go to settings USB Make sure enable USB controller is checked, and then we have to go in and add um, the device to it. So at this point, you do want to plug your um, 18R2 in. And then turn it on. So when you turn it on your computer, it's going to tell you that's detecting a new device. Um, you will want to wait as it will show up as um, sorry about that. I will show up as uh, um, your Cobra 18R2. May have to reopen that. Oh, it would help if I had <laughs> it help if I had it plugged in. There we go. So once your computer detects it, you'll see it right here come up on this list. So you just click the plus, Cobra Firing Systems.
October 18R2. Hit OK and close out of this. So then you just go through and start your panel again. You can shut your 18R2 off. So we're going to go ahead and put the control panel app on the main screen. Just click and hold it. And now we're going to turn on the 18R2. You can go ahead and change the settings for syncing mail. Um, obviously you don't want your mail to be popping up. So now this is detected that uh, I have the 18R2 on, so it's automatically going to open up Cobra. And I do want to use it by default. So now here, 18R2 is turned on. You're at the screen. Hit the big power button. You'd have to activate your license, of course, but just for demo purposes. Um, you'll get this. So go ahead and close. Turn off your 18R2. Wait like seven seconds. And we're turn it back on. And hit the big power button. Success. Proceed to demo. So here you can see that it is functional. Show controls. You have full control over it just like you would on a tablet, which some people might prefer on a laptop. Um, it would work the same on a touchscreen laptop as well. Um, here you can start the script. I have it in test mode. So I just armed it. I can fire it. There's no delay. Um, pretty much the same as just on your tablet. Maybe even be better if you don't have that good of a tablet. Um, so if you have a nice um, laptop or something you use out in the field, you can easily use this on that. But uh, that's pretty much it.